This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in today's tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how to create this envelope icon using Inkscape. And at any point in this tutorial, you could look down at the bottom left-hand side of my screen to see which mouse clicks and keystrokes I'm using. So I'll minimize this and get started. The first thing we'll do in Inkscape is set the view to custom, and then set the view to 100%. Then we'll open up our Align and Distribute menu with this button right here and make sure you have Last Selected chosen from this drop-down. And then we'll open up our Edit Objects, Colors, Gradients, and Stroke with this button right here. So the first thing we're going to do is create a rectangle. So let's go to the Rectangle tool. Let's just click and drag on the canvas to create a rectangle like that. Now we'll go back to our Select tool and up here in this menu we're going to set the width, the letter W, to 400. Hit 400 and hit Enter. And we'll come over here and set the height to 200. Hit enter. And we'll turn this red and take the opacity and bring this down about in half. And the next thing we'll do is create a square. So let's go back to the rectangles tool and let's hold control and shift in the keyboard and click and drag to create a perfectly symmetrical square. And then we'll turn that blue. And then we're going to go to the, uh, the, the select tool. Let's click on this a second time to get our rotation handles and hold control and click and drag this around until the corners are going perfectly upright like that. And then we'll come up to our uh, we'll come back up to this width and height menu. We're going to turn this lock icon on so that when we change the width or the height, the rest of the object scales proportionately and we're going to make the width of this 400 pixels. We'll just hit 400 and hit enter. And then we're going to turn on our snap to cusp nodes with this button right here. Go ahead and click on that. And then we're going to grab the rectangle around this left corner and snap it onto the top left corner of the, uh, the other rectangle. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on the red rectangle and we'll right click it and go to duplicate and hold shift and click on the blue rectangle. And with them both selected, we can go to path intersection. And what we can do now is let's turn the snap to cusp nodes off for now. And then we'll go to our edit paths by nodes tool and we're going to take this node here on the bottom and hold control and click and drag this up straight up to about maybe about this far. And then we'll go back to our select tool. We'll right click that and go to duplicate and we'll turn that duplicated copy green and flip that vertically with this button right here. And then we could hold shift and click on the red rectangle and align the bottom edges in this menu right here. The button that says align bottom edges just like that. And then we could click off of the graphic to deselect everything. Now let's click on this green object right here that we just created. Let's right click that and go to duplicate. And then we could hold shift and click on the red rectangle. And we're going to uh, align bottom edge of the object to the top edge of the anchor with that button. It's the bottom left and it's going to put it up there like that. And now we can click off of the graphic to deselect everything. Now let's click on just this green object we just created. And let's right click that and go to duplicate and turn that copy blue. And then we'll right click that and go to duplicate and turn that copy green. And then we'll hold control and bring this green copy, click and drag it down to about here, about this far. And then hold shift and click on that blue copy behind it and go to path, difference. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click and drag over this entire thing and we're going to bring the opacity of it all the way up. And then we can click off of it to deselect everything. And I'm going to click on this red rectangle right here. And I'm going to give that a very light shade of gray. Maybe 10% uh, gray. And then I'll click on this green object. And then hold shift and click on this other green object. So we have them both selected. We'll make them a slightly darker shade of gray. Maybe 20%. And then we can click on this blue object in the middle here and then hold shift and click on the blue object up top and we can make that a little darker than the previous gray we just used maybe 40 percent like that and that should be pretty good so what we can do now is click off of the graphic to deselect everything what we want to do now is let's turn our snap to cusp nodes back on and let's turn our snap to paths on as well and we're going to grab the bezier pen and we're going to snap the cursor onto this bottom left corner and then click and then bring the line up to this corner and then click and then bring the line over to this edge right here maybe about this far away and then click and then bring it back to the starting point and then click to connect it back together 
and we're going to turn this black and we're going to get rid of that black outline by holding shift and clicking on the X button and we're going to take the opacity of this and bring this down maybe about that much maybe about that far and then we go back to our select tool and we can click on this dark gray object up here we can right click that and go to duplicate and then hold shift and let's click on that little shape that we just drew so we have them both selected and go to path difference and then we can right click this and go to duplicate and we're gonna flip that horizontally with this button right here flip selected objects horizontally and then we'll grab this object and snap it onto this corner over here so we have it on both sides and what we'll do next is let's click on this this gray triangle in the middle and let's right click that and go to duplicate and we'll turn that green and we'll bring the opacity down about in half and then we get hold control and click and drag this up to about here and then what we can do is we can go to our bezier pen we can snap the cursor onto this left corner over here and click bring this down to here snap this onto about this edge about right here and click and then I'd say bring this up to this green edge right here maybe about this far apart. I'm actually going to zoom in so we can see it better. You can just hold control and roll upwards on the mouse wheel to zoom in. I'm going to snap it onto this edge of the green shape right here and click and connect it back to the starting point to create another shape. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that black and I'll turn the, the black outline off by holding shift and clicking the X. And then I can go to the select tool and I'm going to right click this and go to duplicate and flip that horizontally and then grab the object and put this top right corner in this top right corner over here and then we can click on this big gray triangle in the center right click that go to duplicate then hold uh, shift and click on the green triangle below it and go to path intersection and once you've done that we could hold shift and click on this black shape and this black shape and we can unify it all together by going to path union and what we want to do now is lower this down beneath these objects so let's come up here to where it says lower selection one step let's click that once twice you're gonna to have to click this a few times three four up oh, too far raise it back up we want it to be about right there and then we could turn that black and we could bring the opacity of this down a little bit maybe about that much and then let's click off of the graphic to deselect everything and press 1 on the keyboard to zoom back out. Okay, so what we can do now is let's turn off our snap to cusp nodes and our snap to paths. We can now create a little sheet of paper to insert into this envelope. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the rectangle tool and I'm going to click and drag over this envelope to create a rectangle that's a little less wide than the envelope itself. And I'm going to turn that red just so we can see it. I'll bring the opacity up to about in half and then we'll go back to the select tool I'm just gonna make this a little wider a little a little slimmer than the envelope itself maybe about that size about that height and that should be pretty good and we could take this and bring this off to the side so we could work with this a little more so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna right click on this and go to duplicate and I'll turn that blue I'm gonna take this bottom arrow and bring this all the way up and then I'm gonna take this left arrow I'm gonna bring that in a little bit and then I'll bring this arrow in a little bit and then hold control and click and drag this down to about here and then I'll right click that and go to duplicate hold control click and drag this down to about here and then we can right click duplicate hold control bring this down to about here and we'll make one more of these right click duplicate bring that down to about there and that's gonna represent uh, sort of like a lines on a page and then we can hold shift and click on each of those blue rectangles we just created and make sure they're spaced out evenly by coming down to the distribute panel and clicking the button that says make vertical gaps between objects equal and once we've done that we can unify them all together by going to path union and then hold shift in the keyboard and click on the red uh, rectangle and we're going to center that on the vertical axis and the horizontal axis and then we can group it together with this button up here group selected objects and what we're going to do now is hold shift and click on this dark triangle right there on the envelope and we're going to center that on the vertical axis and then we can click off of the graphic to deselect everything 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this and then hold control. I'm going to click and drag this down to about here. And then I'm going to click this a second time to get the rotation handles. And I'm going to hold control and just rotate this around about one step. And I'm actually going to click again to get back to the scaling handles. And I'm going to make this a little smaller because the corner is kind of sticking out of the envelope there. We don't want that. I'm going to scale that down about that much. Maybe I'll put this up a little more like right there. And then what we could do is we're going to want to click on this dark gray triangle that's below this object, but we can't click on it because it's going to keep selecting this thing right here. So how we bypass that is to hold Alt on the keyboard and click on it again, and then it'll select that dark triangle we have in the background. And once we have that selected, we're going to go to Edit and Duplicate. And let's just turn that green for now or bring the opacity down. And let's click on our sheet of paper and let's ungroup them with this button right here. Ungroup selected objects. And then click off of the graphic to deselect everything. Now we're going to go to our Bezier pen. And we're going to start the line inside of this green triangle. I'm going to hold control and roll upwards in the mouse wheel to zoom in. We're going to start the line inside this green, tri green triangle outside of the sheet of paper. And I'm going to click. And I'm just going to draw an outline going around the sheet of paper. Now I'm going to press 1 on the keyboard to zoom back out. I'm going to draw an outline going around this sheet of paper and put it inside this green triangle and then connect it back to the starting point. And then we go back to our select tool. I'm going to hold shift on the keyboard and click on the green triangle and go to path union. So we end up with the shape like this. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click this and go to duplicate. And then hold shift and click on the set of blue, rect uh, blue rectangles and go to path intersection. And then I'll take our original green object, hold shift, click on the red object and go to path intersection. So we now have it looking like the, the sheet of paper is inside of the envelope and sticking out a little bit. So what I'm going to do now is with this red object selected, I'm going to bring the opacity all the way up. I'm going to give this a different color. I'm going to make this maybe uh, a light shade of blue. And then I'll click on these blue rectangles. I'll bring the opacity of that all the way up. I'll make that probably the same shade of blue, but maybe a little darker. I'll go over to the left one step, maybe about that far. That's pretty good. Maybe a little darker, actually. Yeah, I should do the trick, just like that. And once we've done that, let's hold Shift and click on the other blue object. So we have them both selected, and let's group them together with that button right there. And we're going to lower them beneath the shadow objects that we created earlier. So let's come up to the uh, lower selection one step. We'll click on that once, two, three, four, five, six times. And that finally puts it below that little drop shadow effect we created. But in the process, it put it below this top part of the envelope as well. So we're going to fix that by clicking on this dark, this dark gray stripe up here and then holding shift and clicking on this lighter gray triangle beneath it. And we're going to click this button up here that says lower selection to the bottom. And that should put it beneath the sheet of paper. And what we could do now is we can click and drag over this entire thing and group it together. And then we can click it a second time to get the rotation handles and hold control on the keyboard and grab one of these corner arrows and just rotate it around like that. I'm going to put this towards the center of the screen. We could uh, click off of the graphic to deselect everything. And I'm going to take the circles and ellipses tool and I'm going to put a little bit of a shadow effect down here. I'm just going to click and drag and create a very narrow, very thin uh, oval, maybe about that size. And I'll come down to the color picker, I'll turn that black and I'll bring the opacity down a lot just so it's not so abrupt, sort of like that. And then we can click and drag over this whole thing. Oops. We can go back to the select tool and then we can click and drag over the whole thing group it together, and there you have it. We now have created that little flat style envelope icon using Inkscape. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thank you for watching.